I'm Laura with Studio Primrose here in Mesa, Arizona, and many of you have contacted us and asked us how did we transfer these images onto the crackled surface that we created on these bottles, and also how did we do the crackle finish as well on these bottles that we posted on our Facebook page. So uh, I have put together a short video showing you how to do that. If you would like to have any of these products, uh, it, here in the Mesa area we have them stocked in our store we can also ship to you as well and if you have a Debbie's DIY store or retailer who is local to you then we'd like to ask you to support them locally so in any case let's get started after removing the label and cleaning and drying your bottle, apply one coat of your favorite crackle medium over the entire surface. Just take care not to apply it too heavily so that it doesn't sag on the vertical surfaces as it's drying. Okay, well welcome back and the crackle medium on this bottle has dried at this point. So if there's any little bubbles or anything on the surface that you need to get away, just give a light sand and, uh, and then wipe away any of the residue. From there, we're gonna take Debbie's DIY paint and we're gonna do use the vintage linen on this project and you obviously can use any color you'd like. So um, I'm going to apply this to the surface and we're going to really have some awesome crackling going on. Um, I did add, I'll just as a little note, I added a little bit of water to the paint just to make it a little uh, easier to move on the surface. Add a little bit of water to your paint to make it the consistency of cream. And then as you're brushing the surface, make sure that you just slightly overlap each brush stroke and don't go back and rebrush over an area so you don't reactivate the, the crackle. And then you can just watch the crackle begin. Okay, so now we have a really nice dry crackled bottle right here, you can see. So what we need to do now is just go ahead and put a coat of Debbie's patina on the surface, the clear patina, just to seal the surface before we put the image on. Okay, so here we go. So apply one coat of the clear liquid patina to the surface. I printed my image out for this project using my Epson printer. You can also use laser printed images as well for projects that have uh, that are going to be using an image transfer process. Also, please make a note that if you have an image with lettering on it, that you reverse that image before you print it out. And now for the awesomeness. Here is Debbie's DIY liquid patina. It makes an awesome transfer medium. It's not only a great sealer, which was its original intention, it's also a very fantastic transfer medium. It, it transfers an image quickly, so it dries quickly, it transfers the image quicker than a lot of the other image transferring mediums I've worked with in the past. And it's been very consistent for me on a variety of different projects. So I am looking forward to hearing from you and seeing how this product works for you when you're doing your transfers. Apply one coat of the liquid patina to the entire front surface of your image. And once you have that covered, you can take the image and apply it face down onto your project. When you have it in place, take and pat the image into spot, gently pressing it so that it adheres to the surface, and then use a brayer to apply more firm pressure to get out any air bubbles and make sure that it is firmly adhered in place. Once our image is completely dry and adhered to the surface, we want to take a spritz bottle and spray water onto the entire image surface and uh, allow the backing to soften so that as we start to gently rub on the paper backing, it starts to roll back and reveal the image underneath. And from time to time, we will continue to spritz lightly with water to continue to remove the paper until it is completely removed from the surface. 
Okay, well I'm back and I have finished my image transfer and because the image is just so see-through at this point, you can see the crackle coming through, which I just think is so cool. So um, if somehow or another some of the little bits don't seem to want to let go, you can use a scruffy pad, get it wet, and just very gently finesse the rest of the uh, the little bits off the surface. Just make sure you're, you're delicate with that so you don't take your image away. And then after that, protect your surface with either Debbie's Clear, clear Patina or clear waxes and if you want to age it you can use our dark wax dark patina so in any case we hope you've really enjoyed this video you've learned um, something in this video today and we've inspired you to get out there and do some of this so um, this is Laura again from Studio Primrose in Mesa Arizona and we'll look forward to seeing you in another video and maybe we'll even see you in a class here if you live in the area so thank you again for watching and make it a great day bye bye for more information about our workshops or furniture paint boutique, please check out studioprimrose.com or Studio Primrose on Facebook.